We're here at the second match. We've got four returning HAW competitors and two new ones. Hawaiian the Behemoth, Sean and Fergus O'Toole's. The O'Toole's, Sean is in the green, Fergus is in the orange. And we're also going to have to see the uh, debuts of Tarek and Drizzles the Clown. And, well, there's Tarek. We can see him right there. And, uh, Drizzles the Clown, that's what, there he is. Look at how happy he is. I'm sure the children love when he comes out. And here we go. Well, at least with the entrances. And here comes Hawaii. You know, Hawaii, the man who uh, managed to pick up the victory for Team Rat that allowed Rat to get control of the company. And uh, as, as we know at this point, uh, Rat sort of had a little bit of a difficulty getting a renewing the TV contract after uh, that whole ordeal between him and that wrestler. Oh my! Goodness, I almost had a heart attack at that. There he is, the Behemoth. And as I was saying, uh, Behemoth also part of this team that helped Rat get control of the company, beating three unnamed wrestlers we're not allowed to mention. And you know what? I don't. If if the Behemoth could beat those guys, he could beat anyone in my opinion. Behemoth, a force to be reckoned with here in H A O W, not H A O W. That's like the homeowners association or something, I don't know. So, uh, this is a new person, we haven't seen him before. Tarek! This is again part of, uh, Rat's European, foreign, Asian, I guess at this point, Egyptian, uh, influence of wrestlers or something like that. You know, look at those fans out there. Son of the Beast, that one guy is holding up, and he's got such a weird face on him. So, uh, there he is. Tarek, not a weird man at all. He's uh, more of a big man, a Colossus, and look at these guys coming back. It is the O'Toole Brothers. And here they are, and you know what? Oh, there we go. The green, well, look at this. They used to be light green and bright orange, now they're dark green and dark orange. Dark orange, as uh, we can now see, is actually brown. So, the O'Toole Brothers getting some uh, more serious attire. I think people didn't take them seriously, and there they are, the O'Toole Brothers. I've already forgotten which one is which. I... Oh, well, here we go, it's just as the clown coming out now, and... and Look at him! I, I think the kids are just smiling and on their feet as he does this this uh, jovial dance right here. It, it's so cute if you look at it. Oh, Drizzles the Clown, he's, he's one of uh, our, our favorite people. We could possibly get a lot of merchandise out of him, if uh, you ask me. Drizzles the Clown here, now... Um, wow, this guy's weird. Okay, so we got Drizzles the Clown teaming up with the O'Toole Brothers. No one knows where Drizzles is from. But we're here with... You know, I... I was gonna say this, I was gonna say this, uh, but I... I forget which O'Toole's which. Before the match, I said... I said to myself, Edward Fendleton, you know what you need to do? You need to write down on a piece of paper, green equals Fergus and orange equals Sean, for example. That would have been a really smart thing to do. I didn't do it. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call him the Green O'Toole and the Orange O'Toole, even though he's dressed in brown. So we've got... Gr oh, Tarek just knocks down Green O'Toole and referee Dennis Thompson. And, oh, uh-oh, the Behemoth. He's got a steel chair. This is dangerous. This is bad. The Behemoth wheeling a chair is not something you want to be if you're Green O'Toole. And Green O'Toole, though, he's fighting off Tarek. He goes to the top rope. Referee Dennis Thompson back up, and Thompson back up just in time. Uh, Behemoth couldn't hit anyone with the chair. He tried to throw it and missed all of the people. He missed all the people. Not in a way of longing and loving, but in the sense that he threw something and missed it. One count, and he kicks out. Referee Dennis Thompson doing that pin on the steel chair. He doesn't find that suspicious at all. Green O'Toole. This is completely unprofessional of me for me to be referring to him as Green O'Toole, but uh, th th there we go. So 
Thankfully, Drizzles has been tagged in now. And I think uh, the Behemoth has been tagged in as well. And that might not be so good for Drizzles, the clown right there. But, uh... Oh, oh, Behemoth uh, now going after Drizzles the Clown, dragging him into the corner. Uh, well, here comes Hawaii. We got two masks, masked, ma masked men in the in the ring, and we got a pinfall. I'm just as distracted as referee Janice Thompson. Hawaii now going at it with Drizzles the Clown, and, and maybe Drizzles doesn't really have a mask on. It might be more face paint. I don't really know, but Hawaii got got a little bit of that camel clutch there onto Drizzles, and. Oh, sends him into the ropes, clotheslines him outside the ring, but only onto the ring apron, not onto the, uh, the, the padded concrete floor of Manhattan drop there by Hawaii onto Drizzles. Oh, and he, I think that's a jawbreaker, padded and jawbreaker by Hawaii. Drizzles now, getting punched in the stomach. I thought he was going to go on the offense, and I was ready to say he's going to, like, slam Hawaii, but he got punched in the stomach, and then Hawaii slammed him. Why now dragging the boot of Drizzles the Clown over to the corner tags and Tarek again. So we've got two new HAW competitors as the legal men, Tarek and Drizzles the Clown. And we've got a double team here. Is this going to be? Yes, a double suplex. Hawaii and Tarek teaming up. And uh, I should mention by... Oh, wait, hold on. Tarek here. Oh, oh he just slams Drizzles to the ground. Goes for the cover. One... Two, no, Drizzles kicks out. As I was going to say, the winner of this match will go on to face, well, the winning team will go on to face uh, Big Pimp and Alex, Jet Black, and TJ Street in a six-man match for the HAW World Championship. So there's a lot at stake here. You can see the O'Toole brothers there on the bottom right corner. They wanted to tag, but Tarek just punching Drizzles the Clown in the face. Drags him to the corner again, and this is great teamwork. Look at this. They're just getting him into the ring and out of the ring, and they're not letting Drizzles go anywhere. And Hawaii now slams down the head of Drizzles. That might be blood and not face paint pretty soon. Two count, and Drizzles kicks out at the last moment. Good effort there by Drizzles the Clown, and in a test of strength, he sends Hawaii to his knees. Hawaii now gets hit with a neckbreaker by Drizzles the Clown. That might be the first offense we've seen Drizzles in a while. He goes for the pin, he gets... That's a very generous one count. I don't even think that should have been a one count, but I guess referee Dennis Thompson felt really bad for Drizzles the Clown after that, and a low blow by Drizzles the Clown. That's something that the kids should all be proud of when you're getting beat up by a bully. Just do whatever you can to get away. Hawaii slams down Drizzles to the mat, and drags him to the corner again. This is some great teamwork here. And, well, he goes for the, he wanted to go for the tag, but Tarek says, I'm going to the top rope and doing an elbow drop. And an elbow dropped to the midsection of Tarek. And here comes Orange O'Toole and the Behemoth at the same time. Behemoth. Oh, but O'Toole picks him up and gives him a backbreaker to the Behemoth. O'Toole now, he's in complete control here. Oh, he's got... Oh, a super kick to the behemoth, but he's so tall, he hit him in the uh, sternum, I believe. Goes with the cover, one, two, oh, but Hawaii breaks up the count at two. I thought that could have been the match right there, but Hawaii saving it for the behemoth. And now a sleeper hold by a adrenal tool on Hawaii, and some wicked slaps to the chest by a orange O'Toole. And you know what? He could even be called Brown O'Toole. But I don't think anyone wants to be called Brown O'Toole. And a moonsault off the top rope. He does hit uh, the behemoth. But he also hits referee Dennis Thompson. And now a single half-leg crab on Dennis Thompson. And a moonsault by, by Orange O'Toole. And oh my goodness, everything's happening. But quote Bob Cole. And now this somehow, I don't even know who's legal right now. I think it's Orange O'Toole. And, uh, but we got Drizzles over there on the other side of the ring. He's just looking around, and now a super kick by Green O'Toole. I think that could be the cover. He goes for the cover. One, two, but Tarek comes in, and hey, Tarek just dives outside of the ring. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, here we go. Look at this with the behemoth. This is bad. When any just slams down Orange O'Toole, that's got to be it. But Tarek is in the ring. Referee Dennis Thompson trying to restore some order to this match. He sends Tarek outside the ring. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's happening. Oh, my he just slams him right into his neck and goes for the cover. One, two, and Hawaii inadvertently 
breaks up the the pinfall by oh and a bulldog hawaii had hit dennis thompson and now hawaii just a big distraction for behemoth he might have had this match won and now oh a crucifix pen by the O'Toole, but here comes Tarek's one count two count and Tarek breaks it up that was probably the match right there but Tarek he wants that AJW world championship behemoth now back in control of the orange O'Toole. he picks him up again and it's gonna be one of those slams to the head Oh my goodness, that's got to be four concussions in this match. One count, two count, but Green O'Toole comes to save his brother, but Hawaii knocks out Green O'Toole, and we got some punches there. They're not working by Orange O'Toole. Oh, but Hawaii still doesn't care. Him and he's got a bulldog on a Green O'Toole. And now I think, yes, Orange O'Toole has become Red O'Toole after the busting open boot. Goes with a one count, one, two, that's it. He's out. Three. No, he kicks out. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. He is fighting like the heart of a lion. He's getting absolutely mad handled by the behemoth. He may have had... Oh, but the behemoth, he's hurting. You don't see that too often from him. Orange O'Toole now back up to his feet. Oh, but behemoth... Oh, punches him once, punches him twice. This doesn't seem to be working. Can't punch him a third time. Behemoth gets some punches of its own and a DDT to the already injured head. Oh, but look at this behemoth hurting again. Oh, and Drizzles gets a little cheap shot onto it, the Behemoth. But the Behemoth going in, he tags in Hawaii. He needed that tag. He seemed to be in a lot of pain. And, uh-oh, I think this is going to be a sidewalk slam by the Behemoth. And Hawaii, that's all he needed. He's in control now. Behemoth wisely exiting the ring. Hawaii now picks up Orange O'Toole. Gives him an elbow in the face. And, uh-oh, is this it? Yes! More damage to the head! 30 concussions at this point. One, two, three, with Tarek watching over to make sure there was no more shenanigans in this match. And Hawaii picks up the victory for his team. So there it is. We have our, our main event for the pay-per-view. Hawaii, the behemoth, Tarek, Big Pimp and Alex, TJ Street, and Jet Black, one of these men is going to be H.A.W. World Champion. It remains to be seen who, but I'm excited to find out.